Oh boy. Yikes, he's sniffing. All right, I'm back. I'm organized and I'm ready for round two of the treasure hunt down here in the deep, dark, ancient city. But first, there's a bit of a smell over here. It's like uh, salt and vinegar. You guys you guys smell that? Salt and vinegar, like potato chips or something? Uh, oh, wait a second. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I know why. <clears throat> it's my shoes. <laughs> it's just my shoes. Never mind. So, yeah, I took off my shoes. Because I did want to put this feather falling on here. It only costs one experience if we don't name them anyway. So let's just go ahead and do that. That's cheap enough and well worth it. And now I've got shiny chest, shiny pants, and shiny shoes. I just need a shiny head. And we like shiny things. So there we go. Now let's head out and let's look around for more shards. We, we have two, right? So we got to get a few more. Well, a whole bunch more. So let's get out there and look around. Let's go back to the same thoroughfare, which was uh, out the back, Jack, somewhere. Yep, right here. I busted in over by the lectern. Here we go. All right. Now we, now we know this part is relatively quiet and safe, but we still have to be... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it's not. At least not down there anyway. Look, there's a... Um, there's a shrieker over there. Let's go get him. And now that we have our new sneaky pants, <laughs> sneaky two pants, we can really motor. Now, hopefully, this is the only one around here. Oh, boy. Hold up. Back it up. Back it up. Got to stand up for one second and grab my hoe. All right. This is the tool of choice, the weapon of choice to destroy these little buggers. There's a lot of sensors here. I hope there isn't uh, another shrieker around. I think we should probably air on the side of caution and just do it like so okay uh the rest of these buggers we don't even really need to worry about um so let's go back over to this road over here that we know is safe somewhat anyway it oh okay maybe not oh i see you you little stinker these guys are everywhere man it's crazy all right now we just have to go to the other side of this road to the right and do some more looting. And I think there's some treasure here. Nice and quiet and slow. We got one sensor here. Let's just make sure there's no shriekers about. Oh, there's a, is that a shrieker or is that a candle? Just a candle. False alarm. Oh, look at that. A diamond. Um, but there's no treasure here. That's interesting. All right, well, we'll get the diamond later. I don't want to collect the diamonds until we get all the treasure because I'm thinking we might be able to find a fortune book if we're lucky. Now, I left all that wool behind, but you know what? There's a ton of wool here. I'm not too concerned about it. There we go. Gotcha. Light it up. So this is apparently relatively safe. We'll come back for that diamond. Just don't let me forget. What is that? Catalyst, no big deal. All right, let's keep on trucking. There's got to be more. Uh, there's got to be more treasure over here, methinks. I'm going to grab some of that back. So we should probably go up, get the high ground. Yeah, there's wool up here, so we should be relatively safe. Uh, looky, 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 looky. Shrieker. Is there a chest down there? The question is, are there any sensors near that shrieker? And I guess we won't know until we get closer. Well, there's a treasure chest right there, but also a shrieker. Let's make sure there's no sensors. Oh, yeah, gosh, look at them. There's two sensors right there. But we might be able to get over there and take out that shrieker without anyone being the wiser. All right, yeah, let's, let's get down there. Whee! Oh, hey, I got feather falling booties and they glow. What, what's up with that? Yeah, feather fall one doesn't really provide a whole lot of protection, does it? <laughs> All right, let's go up here. We're going to make a little soft stair with our wool and have a peek. Oh, 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 look at that guy on the wall way up top. Yeah, well, we can get him with this particular method as long as we're nice and quiet with the wool. Now... The... Oh, gosh. 
we've got a shrieker here and a shrieker here and a sensor there sensor there this is going to be a tricky one sensor over there too we can't open the chest without making noise so we're going to have to get rid of the shriekers or the sensors or the shriekers and the sensors <laughs> i'm not sure which one we should do first i think this one i think we can block this one off um well maybe not because this corner piece might not block this noise okay hold on let's rethink this yeah these pieces on the corner right here it's going to allow the, the vibration to travel diagonally which i'm pretty sure it does so maybe we can block these off like so just don't touch anything maybe that'll work although there's a couple up top here too darn this is not going to be easy all right well let's see if we can do this guys this could be bad good thing we have all this wool you know what i mean all right i think we're relatively safe <laughs> but i'm not certain you ready three two one die shrieker yes it worked ha <laughs> i knew it now we can't cut the wool out because that will make noise so now we need to go over here and get this little fella and i am gonna put down some carpeting here so i can fall safely sometimes i do mess that up uh where'd you go oh he's behind the wall right <laughs> i lost you there you are let's put that there hopefully there's no sensors and shriekers in that direction but we're gonna take our chances here guys gotta do it ready and three two one die ha <laughs> ha let's get a torch down in there all right let's do the same over here we need some light so you guys can see and i think um i think we might be okay i don't see any more shriekers around let's take care of this guy right here maybe all right nothing on that side that's good i suppose we could just put wool around the chests three two one go diamond leggings unbreaking three and mending holy smokes that is amazing and we got some skulk blocks. Not sure why we want those. I guess just for decoration. A skulk catalyst and a book. Swift Sneak 2. Excellent. And we'll take the bones this time. And I'm going to take the chest because we're running low on wood. So I can use it. Put that down. And we'll get the last one over here. And go. Oh, two more. Uh, three more music sh uh, disc shards. So that's a total of five, and we need four more to go, right? Soul torches, that's kind of cool. New recipes, excellent. More skulk, bottle of enchanting, name tag, more books, and some skulk catalyst, and another lead, which is really interesting. All right, I think, uh, oh, there's a skull in here. Oh, that's fun. I want the skull. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to set off these sensors. We've been so quiet over here, I hate to do it. But I really want that skull. It's a nice decoration. I'm going to get rid of this guy. All right. Hey, that was safe. That was fine. Oh. Okay. Well, that set off the sensors, but it didn't matter. Because there's nobody here to hear it. Oh, boy. Two shriekers down there. I'm going to go back and collect all my, um, my wool. There's a chest right there. Darn. All right. We need that. We need that. But first, let's go get all of our wool. Now that it's safe and quiet here, no more sensors or shriekers about. And we'll break this and get some experience. That's kind of nice. And now let's head on over and grab the rest of this uh, treasure right here. All right, we just have to watch out for the sensors, of course. Shriekers are pretty much useless without them. They can't hear us. They can only be woken up by the sensors, so should be okay here if I just sneak in and kills them. I don't see any uh, sensors nearby, do you? I don't think so, but just in case, we'll put some wool around. Oh! Uh-oh, I think I touched him! Oh no! That's number two! Ooh. Someone turned out the lights. 
Oh boy. Uh, it's only number two. What's going on? Turn the lights back on. <laughs> I think I touched him. I didn't want to touch him. Well, that's number two, guys. Well, I mean, it's not terrible, right? I do want to see the warden someday. But I would like to get all the treasure first. <laughs> what do we got here? Echo shards. We can make the new... Uh, yeah, that thing right there. This compass that leads to your last death location. In case we die. Although, well, we're playing hardcore, so it doesn't matter if we die. It is the end. Ooh, mu new music disc. Lena Rain. Other side. What? That sounds cool. All right, let's get rid of the shears and let's grab that. Use the bottle of enchanting right here. Grab the protection book. And I want the saddle too. What can we drop? So many things. Uh, new shovel's pretty easy to make. Let's grab the saddle. All right. Excelente. We're doing just fine here, my friends. Let's grab our wool and then we'll go. And I'm going to bust you up. All right. Now, let's head back home, which is this way. So I think we're relatively safe here, so let's light this up a little bit. I want to uh, do one more enchanting job. I'm going to put Swift Sneak 3 on these new pants. Huh. Someone fill that hole, please. <laughs> All right, Swift Sneak 3. Here we go. Let's put the music disc away. We now have five. That's excellent. We've got some Skulk, some Catalyst, new music disc. We're going to have to make a, um, a jukebox down here and play these new discs, especially when we, when we make the new uh, disc number five, or whatever it's called. Swift Sneak 2. We want Swift Sneak 3 on the old pants. Let's put them on. On the new pants, rather. And this has Unbreaking 3, Mending, and Swift Sneak 3. It's going to cost 12 experience, but totally worth it. We've been saving up all this time. And now we have a full set of diamond armor. And I want to try Swift Sneak 3. Holy moly. That is so fast. <laughs> I may never stop sneaking. I think this is 75% of normal walk speed. Pretty darn good. Right? Wow, that is excellent. All right, well, we can put those away now. And we have a little skull friend. You just stick him right here. So we have a friend down here. It does get kind of lonely in the deep dark. I mean, we don't even have any zombies or, or skeletons or creepers or anything. So it's nice to have a little friend. We'll call him, uh, we'll call him Scully. He looks like a Scully. <laughs> Hey, Scully, is this yours? I found it in the in the ancient city in a chest somewhere. I thought maybe you lost it. Um, you can have it back. Just give me a sign, pal. Just nod your head or wink or something if you uh, recognize it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know where it belongs, but I don't need it. So just say the word. Go on. Don't be shy. Seems like uh, Scully here is giving me the cold shoulder bone. The cold shoulder bone. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Okay. Not funny. Let's put that away. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's go back out and find the last few fragments of this disc. We need four more, right? We have five total, four more, according to my calculations, is nine. And by the way, I did a little bit of scouting off camera after I got more organized. And I've spread our perimeter out a little bit as well. And I also have discovered that this tower that we had looked at from beneath does indeed have a chest up on top so we, let's go get that and uh, maybe that'll have the fragments that we're looking for so let's just drop down here and get on over there this this area is pretty safe i think so let's run on over where is it this guy right here yeah yeah this is the one all right we're just gonna go right up at the wall doesn't look like there's any skulkers or any oh wait hold up there is something right there isn't there Oh, uh, there sure is. That's a sensor, but I don't see any shriekers around. So we're just going to take our chances. Good. All right, what do we got? Oh, yeah, look at that music disc. We got three more music disc sh uh, fragments. So that is, um, what do we have now? Eight. We need one more. Oh, Fortune 2. Fortune 2 book. That is very fortunate. And more of Scully's bones. Maybe, maybe one of these bones is a humorous bone and he can get his humor back because... The guy just has no sense of humor. Um, we are going to make a, a jukebox with one of the diamonds that we can get down here. We found a whole bunch. 
Just got to go collect them. And now we can. Now that we have that Fortune 2 book, that is excellent. Um, so let's go do that. Let's go make... Let's go put Fortune 2 on our diamond pickaxe here. And then we can start collecting these diamonds. Scully, we're back. Found a couple more bones, buddy. Maybe one of these is your funny bone because you need a sense of humor. In fact, that reminds me of a joke. When does a skeleton laugh? When somebody tickles his funny bone, of course. But dum boom -tsh. Not funny. Not funny. Okay, whatever. All right, there we go. Eight music disc fragments. We need one more to complete the set. All right, now let's go ahead and enchant this pickaxe. It's going to cost four. Fortune two. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. So there we go. All right, let's head back out and go get those diamonds, I guess. And they're on the other side. So we're going to have to climb up and uh, go fetch them. I think the other side is relatively safe. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> That's not the one I was looking for, but we'll go get that one too. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Pink wool means there is a sensor around. Because like I said, I did a little scouting. And I marked some territory with pink wool. So let's go ahead and enable sneaky pants mode and see if we can find this shrieker. I forget exactly where it is. I think it's right there. Um, oh, there's a chest there too. Very, very nice. And by the way, I think this um, the spyglass does actually make noise and it will set off the sensors if they hear it. So you have to be careful with that. So let's go down here and sneak up from this side and see if we can take out the uh, the shrieker. Man, I feel like I'm running. <laughs> it's so nice. Where is the shrieker? Oh, there he is. There he is right there. Is it just one? If it's just one, we should be good. I can just take it out and not have to worry about anything. Just don't touch him. You know what happens when you touch them. There we go. Yeah, nobody else around. Good. I'll just get rid of these bums. Stinking bums. Man, they're all over the place, but fortunately no other shriekers. All right, let's see what we got here. Open it up. And we, ooh, we got more pants. Unbreaking three and fire protection four. Our pants are better, but we will definitely take them. Another echo shard, more torches, and a bunch of amethyst shards. All right, let's break that and grab some experience. Let's just kill all these bums. Oh, by the way, I did look into the, uh, the warden's warnings. The Shrieker's Warnings, and apparently they reset after 10 minutes. So I think we're probably back down to zero. So that's what I read in the wiki. I don't know if it's accurate or not. I guess we'll find out because we have two warnings so far. And after two more, the Warden will come out to play. And that is something we would like to avoid, obviously. But I don't know. You know what would be cool? If we could use these... Um, echo shards to make some kind of like warning counter or detector right that would be pretty cool so we could check the number of warnings we have and how many we have left that would be fantastic okay let's grab our little diamond here it's just one but we got two thanks to fortune two fantastic and now we can make our jukebox before we head back let's just look around here and see what else we can find well, I changed my mind. I'm back at base because I felt like I should uh, try to cheer up Scully here. I, I made a heartless joke. Uh, ooh, wait, I can't say that either, can I? Heartless. Um, I made an insensitive joke and I hurt Scully's feelings. So we're going to go ahead and make Scully a jukebox and that might cheer him up a little bit. So let's do that right now that we have our new diamonds. <laughs> All right, Scully, you're going to love this, pal. We got a new music disc here. I've never heard this one before. Lena Rain, Other Side. I think this came out with 1.18, um, but I've never heard it. It's the first time I've ever found it. So here we go. Well, this is nice. This is going to be nice, Scully. You're going to love it, pal. Come on, Scully. Let's get a smile on that face, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about the joke. I know it wasn't funny. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good beat. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Come on, buddy, cheer up. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let him just listen to the music. Maybe when we come back, he'll have a smile on his face. Uh, not yet. How about now. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that music really carries, doesn't it? I can hear it all the way over here. Hopefully it doesn't set off any um, alarms. 
Oh no. Does it? And here are the diamonds, a big old vein. So let's use our fortune too. There's two there. There's one. One. Come on. Come on. There we go. Eight. Eight total. Just gonna check around here, make sure we're not missing any. That looks like it's about it. Now, let's climb back up, get the high ground, and let's look around for more towers and chests and see if we can get this final fragment piece. We just need one more for our uh, challenge of finding all of the disc pieces and making the new music disc. Now, what is that right there? That's ice. Ice, ice, baby. That's kind of cool. Hi! In a dark alley with the sensors. Not cool. Okay, we're gonna have to make a soft stair going up. Oh no! <laughs> it is a music block and I just set it off. There's a, <laughs> there's a pressure plate right here. Oh, you little stinker. Get out of there. It was a trap. So apparently sensors can hear music blocks. I don't know if they hear music discs from jukeboxes. Um, can we grab any? We can't grab ice without um, silk touch. So, it's kind of useless. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing here. Now, what is that? Oh, man, there's like a secret room or something down here that's an iron... an iron trap door. Wow. Okay, well, we're just going to get rid of it. Apparently, there's no shriekers around because nothing's making any noise. Wow, look at this. There's all this ice down here and a treasure chest with snowballs. <laughs> a ton of snowballs, which you don't even need because we have... A bunch of snow anyway, so let's just make up some snow blocks. Is that it down here? It's like a freezer. This is kind of cool. Guess while we're down here, I'm going to take that lantern and go. All right, let's continue on and see if we can get this last disc fragment. We've got two chests right here that will give us a good chance. Let's get over there and check it out. Uh, we do have one shrieker right there, though. It's going to be tough. And looks like maybe another shrieker right here. Two shriekers side by each? That is not going to be easy. But we have, what, two warnings so far, right? I mean, it could be zero. It could be two. I don't know. Again, I'm not really sure if, um, if they reset. According to the wiki, they do. So there's only one way to find out, and that is to go right in. And yeah, one of these is going to be set off. Well, actually, I think we can take this one out quietly if we surround it. Just don't touch it. You know what happens when you touch it. Uh, I don't see anything above. We should be able to get rid of that guy. Quiet. No! Shash it! Oh, dang it. Oh, boy. Oh, look! Scully's twin! <laughs> okay. I think, I think we're good. So that would be potentially number three or one. Because I think you lose one every ten. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, I really messed that up. Did not see that guy down there. Uh-oh. That was really well hidden. Well, I guess we have our answer because that would have been number four. Warning number four. And on the fourth one... Um, the warden will come out, so it seems like they have been reset, so that would mean we're back down to number to two, right? I think so. I think so. Anyway, let's check this out. What do we got? Punch one. That's not that great. Unbreaking three. Diamond hoe. That is fabulous. We're going to put that hoe in there now. We don't need it. I guess I'll take most of this. The punch one. Sure, we can put that on our bow, right? Punch is good. It's like knockback. But... No music disc shard. However, we have one more shot right here. Dang it! <laughs> Man, we're getting skunked here for the last one. All right, we're going to drop some things that we don't really need, like the iron trap door. We don't really need the snow blocks. We've got plenty of that. I'm going to take the echo shards, and I'll take the skulk. All right, that's fine. Let's put some torches down here. Obviously, we are safe. And we should probably grab Scully's twin. <laughs> gotcha, pal. Maybe this will make Scully happy. And let's destroy some of these blocks and get some experience. These guys, too, give experience. Might as well. Seems safe here. 
Okay, let's find more chests. It looks like we have another ice box down here. I don't think there's going to be any good treasure in there because the last one just had snowballs. So let's just go over and check it out. Anyway, I am not sneaking anymore. I don't even care if the warden comes. In fact, I want the warden to come now. I think it'll be a fun challenge. So I'm not going to go super slow anymore. We're just going to run right in and see what happens. Nothing here. <laughs> Great. Just busting it. Just bust it. See what's here. It's, uh, oh, there's potatoes here. Baked potatoes and suspicious stew and some packed ice. All right, we'll take that. Okay, we need one more fragment and then we can call this challenge complete. Um, so let's go find another chest. It looks like there's one right there. Have not been there, obviously, because of the, uh, the shrieker right there. And I think I'm just going to go right in quick like and let's, um, let's get the warden out here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, looting two books, skulks, echo shards, curse of binding. We don't want that. Looting two is pretty good, actually. Um, I do want to take the uh, the potion of regen, especially now that we're. Oh, 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 shoot. Uh, that was too oh, oh, boy. Yikes, he's sniffing. It's okay, we can fast sneak. I can't see anything though. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, I didn't realize that that thing could squawk twice. Just have to be careful. Don't touch anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's pretty scary. <laughs> uh, where is our base? Not even sure the base can protect us. This guy can um, shoot like some kind of... Uh, ranged attack that can go right through walls and it's like 30 30 blocks or something oh boy i think we might have made it but we still need that last shot oh oh my gosh look at this <laughs> goodbye <laughs> we're in uncharted territory here guys <laughs> there's a chest right here let's go see if we can get this music disc and then we can win and get out of here Oh, no, we have been here before. There's some wool. All right, well, we have um, snuck away from the ward, and it wasn't even that hard. Apparently, he can't hear you when you're sneaking, so there you go. He should leave after about 30 seconds. Go back home, wherever his home is. And uh, I think after the first time he comes out to play, it's only one more warning for each subsequent um, visit. So, here we go. All right, we're back in base. Kind of, sort of, relatively not safe. But at least we can dump out our inventory and then go try to find that last uh, last fragment bit. So, let's just dump this stuff out real quick and go. Hey, Scully, we got you a friend, buddy. Let's put Mr. Bones right here. You guys can stare at each other and chat or whatever you do. I guess. And let's play that music disc again. There we go. And now, my friends, let's go ahead and spend some of our um, experience points. We're going to put looting on our sword. That's only going to cost four. That's pretty good. And I'm thinking the punch one on the bow. That's going to cost three. All right. Excellent day. Now, let's get back out and find that one last shard. It's very elusive, but I think we can find it. And hopefully we do not get another visit from the warden. Uh, although sneaking away from him wasn't really all that difficult, to be honest. <laughs> not with our sneaky pants. All right. I think we have not been down in this direction. So let's go check it out. Hopefully we will not get another visit. But I'm not going to go... Whoa. Oh, ladder. <laughs> I am going to go relatively quickly. Oh, there's a chest right there and one shrieker. Um, if the warden shows up, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to sneak away as fast as possible. Yeah, let's drop down here onto that. Ouch. I should have I should have done that sneaky-like, but I'm kind of in a rush. 
This episode's getting kind of long, and I, want, I just want to finish it. Let's get rid of you. Hopefully there's no others around. And we're good to go. Um, no shard. Dang it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoa, look at this hoe. It's efficiency five and mending. Oh, that's even better than unbreaking. Oh, yeah, baby. Vanishing doesn't matter because if we die, it's game over anyway because we're playing on hardcore mode. So that really doesn't affect us. We'll grab the skulk and we'll take the books. We don't need it that all right so that's that still looking for one more stinking disc i can't believe it all right let's go in this direction i don't think we've been up here this looks like a place with treasure oh it sure is Ooh, oh gosh we got two shriekers right here you know what that means that means one of them will get set off no matter what we do <laughs> so Let's not destroy them. What we're going to do instead is grab the loot and run and hope that we do not get caught. Let's find an escape route. We can go right there. This warden's going to pop up right behind us, right? I don't know. On three, two, one. Let's go. Music disc. Got to go. Got to go, 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 go. Okay, down, down. Shh. Sneaking. Sneaking, sneaking fast. Don't touch anything. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, boy, I can't see a darn thing because we have the darkness effect. Oh, no, look at this right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we have a shrieker right next to us. Can I climb up here and sneak by? Oh, he sounds so sad, doesn't he? Little Mr. Warden. Let's have a look at the warden. Oh, I see something right there moving around. Is that him? Where is he? Let's get a good look at him. I think we're relatively safe over here. Here, let's see if we can get him out with a snowball. Just so we can see him. No? How about over there? No. He went away. I want to see his little cute little face. He's kind of cute. But anyway, we got our final music disc fragment. So let's head back home. Uh, wherever that is. <laughs> and we're going to make this music disc and then call it a day. This challenge is complete, my friends. We did it without being squished. Ooh, hold up. We do have a diamond here. Ooh, nobody heard that? That's good. <laughs> Might as well grab that. And now let's get back to base. All right, here's our front door to the base. Let's get her done. I'm so excited. All nine fragments have been discovered. And we didn't die, so that's great. All right, grab the other eight. Takes a total of nine. And there it is, my friends. Samuel Aberg, number five. Let's put it on the jukebox and let's listen. Oh, it's kind of creepy. It makes bat sound. What the heck? Hello? Somebody there? Sounds like marching. Someone's here. Ah, Scully. Bones. We gotta go. <laughs> that is a... Whoa. Okay, here comes the music. I don't like this disc. <laughs> okay, that's better. Now that the uh, scary marching and monster sounds is over, we, we actually have some music. Oh, this is very pleasant. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened? Oh, no. Not again. Oh. They're back. <laughs> All right. Anyway, folks, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We have completed our challenge. We came down to the uh, to the ancient city in the deep dark. And we got all nine fragments for the music disc number five. And there you go. It is now complete. So I think now we can collect our loot, head back home, and then go check out some of the other new stuff in 1.19, like the mangrove swamp and the frogs and the tadpoles and all that other fun stuff. So we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.